Oh, I come down here where you can see me. Um, so I'm going to do a short video on the problems we've had with the, the JK build in that on our last trip we noticed that the fridge had sunk back into the cabinet here. Um, don't recall giving you any hard knocks or anything else and what we found was that this little piece of wood here is only held in by two little finely threaded screws and literally there's a warp there somewhere I'll show you a bit more detail but this piece of wood that the screw goes from the fridge to hold it the screw is in between the joins of these two bits of wood here and the whole thing is just pushed backwards and just pulled the, the screw clean out um, not particularly strong wood so I've been looking at how to fix it for the last couple of days also taking the opportunity to put some uh, some more venting behind there and some insulation up behind these panels here try to um, decrease the heat on the fridge so um, I've got an idea on how to fix it but I'll just give you a closer look and show you what the problem is okay so you can see you can see here that this is where the screw from the fridge goes in like that and basically what it does because it's right in the joint it's just put some pressure on that and the whole thing has just popped up if I take you up you can see how much it's come out and you can see that this is the the top screw thread here and it's literally just pushed that whole thing out again so this is all that's actually keeping that fridge in so I've just taken that top screw out and you can see how much that thin strip of wood is actually bent it's warped or the cabinet's warped one of the two so the fact that it's warped puts it takes a fair bit of pressure to line that up and then it just springs back out again so that screw was under tension anyway so how are we going to fix it this is my so my plan for here so i've got a 600 mil long bracket it's got quite a bit of rigidity to it and what my plan is that let's pull that into there got a liquid nails and screw the bracket to the front face here and also liquid nails and screw it to the side and then pop some extra screws into there with a bit bigger thread and that'll hopefully um hold the thing in and stop it from falling out again and what i do screw into here hopefully it'll um it'll that metal will help to stop it coming out that's my plan while i'm at it i've got a smaller 20 by 20 bracket and i'm going to do the same on that side this is the bracket that's in there you can see how it fits in quite nicely you can see the liquid nails behind it and if i do that you can see how it fits up so we've kept this in the same line as it was before so there won't shouldn't be any problems getting the fridge in and we've done that side as well that's got the 20 mil bracket in it because that's all i needed to do on that side i couldn't fit a 40 in um and also along the floor at the back we have another bracket and i'll measure back from the screw holes to that bracket so we should be able to slide the fridge in and it'll sit up nicely against that and not go any further so put a hole in the side of the cabinet because the poor little fridge works over time when you've got the sun on that on this side put another little vent into the side of the cabinet there and i'm going to install in here just a fan that will blow out to the vents to the outside so it'll draw the cool air from inside the van and blow it outside or the hot air from inside the van and throw it outside again we've got the insulation in there we now have a fan over one of the vent holes which are very small so if i turn that fan on you can see it's directly opposite the vent and that's actually blowing quite nicely at the back of the van so that uh so hopefully that will help.